Hi guys, I'm outside with Victoria and she's getting a little bit of sun. Um, I wanted her to get some fresh air because she's been in that room for a long time. She's doing better today. I think the antibiotics has kicked in. The pain meds are helping her. Um, yesterday was terrible. She had more egg yolk. So it was just... You know, she was at the bottom of her cage most of the day. She was in a lot of pain. I was a mess. It was, it's terrible watching your loved ones go through something like that. But she has ovarian disease and it's going to be a roller coaster. You know, um, there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be ups and there's going to be some downs, some big downs. But it's just, it's going to be a challenge trying to keep her alive through May, through cockatoo nesting season. So I'm gonna work really hard at keeping her healthy. And I just wanna thank everybody, everybody for your prayers and support. Everybody, I, I just, I can't thank you enough. Thank you for everybody that shared her post, that shared her story, that has donated. I, I, I just, I'm overwhelmed. I, I can't even believe it. I love you guys, and it's hard to express that um, through writing. I'm a terrible writer, if you haven't noticed that by now. And it's just hard to even express it from a video, but I was in tears last night over you guys. Just by the love and the support, I do not feel alone. Um, you know, Victoria, it, it's going to be a battle to keep her alive. And... But somebody, uh, Rose from Parrots First yesterday texted me when I was asking her, do you think she's going to be able to survive till May? And her response was, Victoria is tough. And she's right. Victoria is tough. And actually, when I saw that text come in, I was thinking, yeah, she is tough. And she does look kind of fragile, but she's tough. If you guys have watched her journey, this bird does not want to go anywhere. So today we're having a good day. Tomorrow she's going to go see Dr. Loudis. Um, I want to get a game plan of the Lupron injections, how we're going to do this, uh, the timing of it all. Um, this last Lupron injection did not work because she was already um, in motion of egg yolk, right? It, it was too late. And they need to be timed like three weeks apart during this until May. Um, so tomorrow she's going to go back to see Dr. Loudis and we're going to form a game plan. He's going to check her. I'm going to update him about the egg yolk. And I don't know if he's going to want to do x-rays or an ultrasound. Um, I know last week he didn't want to do that. He doesn't want to put her under anesthesia. And he said it really wouldn't change his game plan of what he wanted to do. Um, so... But we're going to go tomorrow, and we're just going to take it day by day. And it's just getting her through this time. And I'll make a video on exactly what I'm doing in detail for you guys and the medication and everything. Um, but right now, I wanted to give you a quick update and let you guys visually see her. Um, she has lost pretty much all her vision. And this eye. So I don't know if you can see it's very murky in there. And um, so it's like just full of cataracts. Um, she was so sick last week. She was not recognizing me. It was on, what was that on? Tuesday. She wasn't recognizing me. Um, her body was a mess. And she was hissing at me. She was at the corner of her cage. She didn't want me to touch her. She was in excruciating pain because uh, of the calcium, as I said in the other video. Um, it was terrible. It was not Victoria. Today is a different day. And so I want you guys to see what's happening right now. Look at that. Oh, Victoria. So she's a different bird than what she was yesterday. Yesterday I was telling her she could go if she wanted to. It's crazy, you guys, what's going on. So today, she's telling me she's not going to go. So it's just amazing that she's having a special moment right now. Yeah, I love you. I'm trying.
try not to like cuddle her. It's just hard when your bird's sick, you just want to like cuddle them, but that's what will kill her because it, it, it causes them want it, wanting to nest more like hormonal behavior. So I got to be careful how much I hold her and stuff, but I'll make a video on all that because uh, you guys need to know what's going on and, and you guys need to know what to do if your birds go through this, right? This is something that everybody can learn from and Victoria's journey and that's, you know, what I film, my bird's journey and that sharing a life with parrots, it's not easy. These are wild animals. They don't belong here and we can't, you know, make up for what they're missing out there, right? They should be free flying free but don't turn your birds loose kids um because they would not survive captive birds do not survive being turned loose so please don't do that but um they belong in the wild and, and that's why you know the ones that are here we need to take care of them but we need not to make any more so all right guys we love you and um thank you for everything i'll continue to update you oh oh I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you.